Hello everybody. Good afternoon. Steve the Fan Guy here once again. It is Monday, September the 5th. And Jordan, you messaged me last night uh, on my channel requesting that he saw more of my property here. And, uh, well, technically it was something that was, that was, uh, on my mind because, uh, as you, as some of you already know, I am, uh, I'm not far from, uh, relocating. I am going to be moving here very soon. I'm not exactly sure when, but since, uh, since he was, uh, was interested in seeing the property I figured I'd just go ahead and make a little video you know showing off my my current residence so this is my yard here this is a uh, this is what I've called home for the last 17 years now and these are the the sodium lights that I recorded last night and these are this is the uh, the off and on switch that goes to it same thing down there on the other and we do pay a monthly charge on these and this here is it's my fire pit this is where we where we burn wood in boxes on on cool nights. This is where I this is where I like to spend a lot of my time, particularly on cooler nights like this. I think we built this maybe around 2013, and as you can see, it's probably going to have to be redone again. I and I I think that's what's going to be done. Once, uh, once I've uh, moved to my new residency, and this here, this is our old shed. This is our little building here. I'm not going to go on the inside right now. And this is our old well house. This is uh, this is where our well water comes from. It's just an old whale that goes at least about 30 or 40 feet down and it's got an old uh, electric pump inside and this here this is my my workshop my workspace originally was a cabin and then I just kind of turned it into my old little my old little workshop here this is the outside of it and that is the front door and this is my thermometer I was actually the one who installed this uh, about eight or nine years ago it's about it's about 87 or 88 degrees it really doesn't feel really doesn't feel that bad it's actually a little bit cooler today and there's the humidity there on the bottom this is the inside of the shop here I haven't been out here recently I need I'll start filming a little bit more in here eventually and I've already done a, I've already done a clean and exam of a, one of the motors here if any of you are inter interested I can do a video on on these two here I'm not exactly sure when it'll be, but it'll it'll probably will be in my new uh, my new location when I'll uh, when I'll get these things put together. Got an old space heater there in the back. I'm gonna hold on to that. There's a heater there. I actually got started working on that earlier this year, and I need to uh, I need to to finish it up. Cooler weather really not being that far away. There is my my old belt-driven squirrel cage blower fan there. I really haven't used it all that much. That may be going with me. 
And there's some old space heaters there in the back. One of them I may get to working and that's going to be going with me. And I'll be making a video on that in the future. It's just some old tools and stuff. And this is my Hyper Tough push mower. I made a video on that not too long ago. And hopefully I may be able to make a, make a little video on that uh, when the grass grows up again. This is just my little storage room here. And yes, it is a little messy in here. And there's going to be some work done. There's the old uh, fan blade there sitting on the chair. Jordan, if you're still interested in that, hit me up and I'll let you know what I can do. Got my old fans here. It's my old Lakewood. My old wizard there. That's going to be going with me. This will be going with me too. Pretty much all of my fans will be uh, will be coming along with me. So yep, yeah, this is my old my old workshop here. Old cabinets where where I keep all of my my bolts and screws and whatnot put up. There's my old Northern Air desk fan there. It's my hyper tough power drill. Need to put that back on charge. <clears throat> There's an old radio over there in the back that I got last year. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can try to fix that. The uh, the adapter on it kind of broke off, and I'm gonna see if I can try to to uh, to replace it. There's the cabinet, and there are those pesky wasps there in the back. I need to do something about those eventually, whenever I get around to it. Jordan gave me uh, a good solution on what I could do to uh, to rid of rid away with those. This is an old Frigidaire air conditioner. I don't think that I have made a video on this. Maybe maybe I might make one here in a little bit. I might do that. This is uh, one of my favorite places, my favorite spots where this is actually where I spent a lot of my time, even from the time that, that I first moved here. I've even done some restorations back here. This is where I did, where I painted some of my fans. It's an old cornhole board game. I don't know if that'll be going with me or not. Maybe I could try to take that with me. Uh, one of the legs have broke off. Maybe I can try to, to replace it. Uh, yeah, this is one of my hangout spots. There's, uh, there's the other air conditioner here. That's our GE air conditioner. I think you've seen that in one video. This is my backyard here. There's another air conditioner there in the back. I'll go ahead and I'll show that off to you. Falls really just around the corner. I'm really looking forward to it. This is a Hayer air conditioner. It's a really nice air conditioner. It's, uh, it's a little dirty there, but not a bad performer. And this is the air conditioner that went to our indoor heating and air. I think that looks pretty cool there. I'll take you back to the front here. This is our old water hose, uh, little water hose holder here.
There's the window that comes off of my bedroom. This is our our power meter. This is where our power comes from. Two outlets there. So I'll go ahead and I'll show you the pond. So this is our pond here. There's some plants there that uh that we got a couple of years ago. There's an old birdhouse I got from my grandfather. I'm really gonna think of whether that that will go with me or not, or if it'll just stay here. Here's the inside of the pond. You can see the little the little blue flowers there coming in. This was uh, this was uh, initially a pond before we were just have starting to have issues with with snakes and frogs and stuff like that. So we just kind of had to drown that out. We had to drain it out, and we just turned it into a little, to a little flower bed here. I think we uh, we put this in. We built this about about ten or eleven years ago. This is a tree, the another tree that I got from my grandfather. Uh, I planted this. Actually, I think I planted this earlier this year. All right, those are my two, my two fruit trees there in the back. Just a couple of apple trees. <clears throat> there's some, uh, there's some other trees. We planted those right after we moved in. There's an old whale house there in the back. It was originally a dog house, and we just kind of turned it into a little whale house. We first moved in. There was an old house there that burnt down, and we tore it down, and. And uh, we needed to put something over it because uh, because that for safety reasons. Little pecan tree. There's some more fruit trees there in the back. A couple of them are pear trees, and I think the other is an apple tree. There were some pear tr peach trees there in the back. There's our other well over there. I guess I'll let you have a closer look at them. There's another one of the recent trees that we planted. This is an old pear tree. It's grown up quite a bit. I'll sit on the porch in the nighttime and we've had it, I think we've had two doe come up. I want maybe I tried to record a video of it and I was going to post it on YouTube, but it was a little too dark and it just wasn't going to capture a good, you know, a good view of it. All right, this is another one of our old apple trees here. This is another pear tree here. Actually, I think this is the oldest one of what you can see of it. I think the, the deer and the buck and the foxes and all might have all came and got them. At least most of them anyway. Okay, so these are our peach trees. Okay. 
And these here, I guess these are called ukulele trees or something like that. I really don't come over here too much. I really don't spend too much time in this area. And a lot of these were seen down in places like Florida and stuff like that. I've never seen too many of these. I know that, know that these had to have been, these were, you know, planted by the people that lived here before. But yeah, definitely don't want to, uh, don't want to fall or run into these accidentally. Here's our other tree here. Leaves are changing color on them. You see those yellow and brown leaves here and there. There's another tree there. This is probably the oldest tree in the yard. No telling how old this thing could be, but I don't know if I could try to find it. Oh, if you can see it. There is a long pole that's sticking out of this tree. It looks like an old pipe or something. But you can see from where it's grown into the tree there. Try to be very careful here. This is probably the oldest tree in the yard. Possibly. There's some more leaves there. Where the leaves have been coming down. We did have a fence there. Maybe that will be, that might be being rebuilt. I'm not exactly too sure. And these are our crepe myrtle trees. You can still see the, the flowers up there there throughout the top there's another one there this is our old well house that we built, well, technically just, just kind of turned into a little well house. It was a dog house. I was actually the one that painted this too, by the way. There's the roof there from the tin. There's the front porch. There is my house. There's the driveway. I'm not going to go back in this area because, uh, I am not going to, uh, there's, there's things that I cannot reveal in the video for safety and privacy purposes. So there you go, everybody. Well, Jordan, technically I did this for you, bro. <clears throat> so this is, uh, this is our sanctuary. This is our home of what will be probably for the remainder of the month. So there you have it. There is a little little show and tell of my of my property here. I hope that you have all enjoyed. 
and that sun is, is blaring out now. It's been overcast most of the day. And that sun is starting to peak out. So there you have it, everybody. There is a little video of my yard. Put in comments, like, subscribe. And I hope that you've enjoyed the video. And more to come. Have a good one. And I hope that you've enjoyed. And have a good day.